Hey everyone, Kelly Money here, the EP for Nanlite USA, and today we are going to talk about the behind the scenes of a cosmetic shoot. So our good friend Mark Raker uh, is a cinematographer, and he actually took us behind the scenes of a cosmetic shoot he did for his good friend Jason Pietra. Now Jason is a photographer, and he does a lot of fashion and beauty and a lot of cosmetic shoots. And he finds himself having his clients ask him to also do video for their social media or for their websites. So a lot of photographers are finding themselves in this position of needing to do video along with doing stills for their shoots. And so they have to enter the world of continuous lighting. Jason decided to do two different shoots. One was something that was inspired by a red lipstick. So he wanted everything to be overly saturated and red and just have a red hue to the entire thing. And then the other shoot was more film noir and dramatic and had more black and white emphasis for it because it was for mascara. So before I jump into these two separate shoots, let's talk a little bit about just the general gear that was used. Mark used his Sony a7S Mark II and he uses 100 millimeter macro lens for all the model shots that he got. But for everything else, he mostly used this Lawa probe lens, which is incredibly cool and unique. And we'll dive into a little bit of that later as well. And then in terms of lighting, he actually used a Forza 500, a mix panel 150, a mix panel 60, and one of my favorite tools, obviously, and yours as well, the Pavo tubes, both the 15 and 30. So the 15 is the two footer, and then the 30 is the four footer. So without further ado, let's dive right into this moody, overly saturated red shoot that they did for the lipstick. So the very first shot that you see with the red lipstick is just the red lipstick emerging from this red liquid. And the way that they got this shot was really clever. They actually filled a pan with paint and then reversed it in post. So Mark had this laid flat on a tabletop and then he lit from each side of it, camera left with a Pava Tube 15C and then camera right, a Pava Tube 30C, obviously dialed to hue zero degrees. So just pure red. Now, I really enjoyed watching them put together this next shot. Michelle Longo, who was a stylist and specifically a cosmetic stylist and still life expert, was on set and she actually put together this thing where she layered this texture on top of this piece of plastic to create like these waves and these ripples. And Mark basically filmed right above that overhead. He mounted the camera on a slider with the probe lens and panned across while the Pavo Tube 30C lit the back of the texture. And it was a very cool effect. And Mark basically lit the textured surface with a Pavo Tube 30C horizontally right behind it. So for the next shot, they actually got this drip shot with the Pava Tube 30C as well. For this one, Michelle actually just kind of used paint and dripped it off of the surface and the camera cropped out the surface and just focused on the different drops going by. And so Mark actually lit these drops with the Pava Tube 30C just vertically lighting the pathway of the drop itself. And to create these lipstick silhouettes, Mark just basically lit the background that was directly behind the lipstick with a mix panel 150. And he shaped the light a little bit by flagging it off. Now this next shot is just gorgeous. It's basically the model Alex with the 100 millimeter macro lens that Mark had. The 150 mix panel set to, of course, zero degrees, a hue of red as the key light. And then as the background, a mix panel 60 also set at a hue of zero degrees. My favorite part of the shot is really how Mark kind of has the mix panel 150 off to the camera left. It really just kind of creates some more depth on her instead of just flat lighting. It creates some shadow and some mystery and it doesn't make it feel just overly flat and just red. There's, there's layers to the shot. Now this shot was really to me the most fun to shoot. They actually got to melt the lipstick. So Michelle got to play with a blowtorch and uh, well, she had a blast. Yeah, I went there. She basically got to just melt a bunch of different lipsticks and figure out, you know, how close she had to be, how much of the fire she needed to use. And it was just a lot of fun. And the effect was really cool in post because again, they reversed it. So it just looked like the, the lipstick was morphing into shape. Now, as simple of a shot as this might seem, it's just a tight close-up shot of the lipstick. 
This is actually one of the more intricate shots that Mark did, because a lot of times when he does tabletop, he creates layers within the reflections of the surfaces and the different things happening within the frame. And for this one, he actually used a pocket mirror to create a highlight on the lipstick itself. And then he had a micro silk along with the Pava 230C that he had mounted vertically. So that created a nice soft light coming from camera left. And then he also just had basically the 15C also vertically mounted, but just creating this nice sharp highlight that you can actually see in the surface of the lipstick. You can see the shape of the Pava tube and it just creates this nice highlight that adds some layer and depth to the shot. He also used a small white card to create a little bit of bounce and more texture onto the base of the lipstick as well, which you can see in camera right. So this is another drip shot that they got and they used again the 30C vertically with a white card and it's actually angled a little bit differently so you can see that it's actually creating a different kind of effect than the original drop you see in the beginning of the piece. And yet another drop, this one without a white card and a Papa 230C vertically placed as well. But we also see that the Mix Panel 60 was used for the background to create some red. And again, Mark also liked to shape that light, so he used a flag to basically give it more of a shape and a gradient instead of it just all being red. And we are back to the panning shot of that beautiful textured lipstick aesthetic that Michelle put together. And this you can see is different than the earlier one, which had a little bit more of like shadow and a little bit more kind of like a silhouette kind of feel going on. But uh, for this shot, Mark decided to use the Forza 500 with the Strip Bank softbox, which he put at table level with the texture. And we're still panning across the scene. And for this ending beauty shot, Mark basically did the same thing he did with the melting lipstick shot, except there's no mirror and there's no white card. But we still have that lovely Pavo tube highlight at the base of the lipstick.